Do you know what foods to avoid when taking metformin? Metformin, a common medication used worldwide, is primarily prescribed to manage type 2 diabetes. It helps control blood sugar levels by reducing the amount of glucose absorbed from food and the amount of glucose your liver makes. Now, why is it important to be mindful of what you eat while on this medication? Well, certain foods can interact with metformin, leading to a decrease in its effectiveness or even causing adverse effects. So, while it's always essential to maintain a balanced diet, it becomes doubly important when you're on a medication like metformin. It's not just about eating healthily, it's about eating smartly. Because after all, your body is a complex system, and everything you consume has an impact. So, are you ready to learn more about how to optimize your diet while on metformin? Let's dive into the top 10 foods you should avoid when taking metformin. Starting with number 10 on our list, alcohol. Now, you might be thinking, a glass of wine at dinner or a beer with friends, what's the harm? Well, if you're taking metformin, that casual drink could lead to problems. The main concern here is the risk of lactic acidosis. This is a rare but serious metabolic complication that can occur due to the interaction between alcohol and metformin. When you drink alcohol, your liver is too busy breaking down the alcohol to properly regulate your blood sugar levels. This, coupled with metformin's mechanism of reducing glucose production in the liver, can lead to dangerously low blood sugar levels. Moreover, alcohol can increase metformin's effect of decreasing your blood sugar, so while the occasional drink may not be harmful to most people, it could pose significant risks for those on metformin, so it's best to skip the booze when you're on metformin. Next up, at number 9, we have high-fiber foods. While fiber is generally good for us, it can interfere with the absorption of metformin. Foods like whole grains, fruits and vegetables contain high fiber that can slow down the rate at which your body absorbs glucose and consequently metformin. This could lead to less effective treatment outcomes. It's all about balance. While you shouldn't eliminate fiber from your diet, moderation is key when taking metformin. So, be careful with your fiber intake. Number eight on our list is caffeine. Often the go-to for a quick pick-me-up, this stimulant can interfere with metformin. Caffeine increases your blood sugar levels, which can counteract the effects of metformin, a medication designed to lower those levels. Furthermore, caffeine can exacerbate metformin's side effects, such as nausea, stomach upset, and jitteriness. Just think of it as a chance to explore the world of herbal teas and decaf options. So it might be a good idea to limit your coffee intake. Sweeteners take the seventh spot on our list. These sugar substitutes can be a sneaky foe when you're taking metformin. While they might seem like a good choice for those looking to cut down on sugar, artificial sweeteners can still impact blood sugar levels. This could potentially undermine the effects of metformin, which aims to control your blood sugar. It's a bit like trying to put out a fire while adding more fuel. So, it's best to avoid artificial sweeteners when you're on this medication. Coming in at number six are high sodium foods. Sodium, while necessary for the body, can be a double-edged sword in high quantities. It can boost your blood pressure, adding stress to your cardiovascular system. This not only complicates the work of metformin, which is striving to regulate your blood sugar levels, but can also lead to other health complications. Foods like processed meats, canned soups, and fast food are often high in sodium, so it's advisable to limit your sodium intake. At the halfway point, we have processed foods. These food items, often rich in sugars and fats, can create a havoc in your system when you're on metformin. They can spike your blood sugar levels and interfere with the medication's efficacy. Moreover, processed foods are generally low in essential nutrients, which can further complicate your health status. It's a wise choice to keep processed foods at bay and instead fill your plate with fresh whole foods. So try to stick to fresh whole foods instead. Number four on our list is refined carbs. These are the polished villains of our diet, stripped of their natural fiber and nutrients, leaving only pure, quick digesting carbohydrates. When you consume these, they cause a rapid spike in your blood sugar levels. The very thing metformin is working tirelessly to regulate. This unexpected surge can throw your body's balance out of whack, causing unnecessary stress. So, it's best to choose complex carbs instead. They take longer to digest, 
leading to a more gradual rise in blood sugar and a healthier you. Coming in at number three are trans fats. These sneaky substances are found in many processed foods and are notorious for increasing levels of bad LDL cholesterol while lowering good HDL cholesterol. This imbalance can ultimately make metformin less effective in controlling blood sugar levels. Trans fats also trigger inflammation, which can further compromise metformin's effectiveness. To add to the woes, they increase the risk of heart disease, a common concern for those with diabetes. So it's advisable to avoid trans fats when on this medication. Our runner-up is sugary drinks. These sweet sips may seem innocent, but in reality they're sugar mines, causing blood sugar spikes that can interfere with the effects of metformin. Whether it's soda, juice, or even that seemingly healthy smoothie, these beverages can pack a punch of sugar that your body, especially when taking metformin, doesn't need. They can disrupt your medication's ability to control your blood sugar levels, complicating your health journey. So it's best to quench your thirst with water instead. And the number one food to avoid is grapefruit and grapefruit juice? Now you might be thinking, but isn't grapefruit healthy? Well, yes. However, when it comes to metformin, this tangy citrus fruit can cause a bit of a hiccup. Let's break it down. There's a compound in grapefruit that can interfere with certain enzymes in your body. These enzymes are crucial in breaking down and metabolizing metformin. When you eat grapefruit or drink its juice, the action of these enzymes can be significantly reduced. This means that metformin can end up lingering in your body for a longer duration, leading to potential adverse effects. Now this doesn't mean you need to swear off grapefruits forever, but while you're on metformin, it's a good idea to give them a miss. You can always substitute grapefruit with other citrus fruits, such as oranges or lemons. So, it's best to avoid grapefruit and its juice when you're taking metformin. So, there you have it, the top 10 foods to avoid when taking metformin. Let's take a moment to review. First, we've learned that alcohol can have a negative interaction with metformin, leading to a dangerous condition called lactic acidosis. Next, we delved into how high-fiber foods could slow down the absorption of the medication, potentially disrupting its effectiveness. We also highlighted the stimulating effects of caffeine, which may increase blood sugar levels, counteracting the effects of metformin. Moreover, we underscored the potential pitfalls of sweeteners which can confuse the body and cause an insulin response. We turned our attention to high sodium foods and processed foods, both of which can exacerbate insulin resistance and undermine the work of metformin. Refined carbs, with their high glycemic index, can spike blood sugar levels, which is exactly what metformin seeks to control. Then came trans fats, those hidden culprits in many processed foods, known to increase the risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Sugary drinks, our penultimate item, are another major source of rapidly absorbed sugars, which can quickly raise blood sugar levels. Finally, we wrapped up with grapefruit and grapefruit juice, which can interfere with the absorption of metformin, making it less effective. However, it's not just about avoiding certain foods. It's about embracing a balanced, nutritious diet that supports your overall health while taking metformin. It's about understanding that food and medication can interact in complex ways, and being mindful of what you eat can make a significant difference in how well your medication works. Diet management is a crucial aspect of handling any medication, not just metformin. It's about making smart choices, not just for your health, but for your overall well-being. Remember, everyone is different and these are just guidelines. Always consult your healthcare provider for personalized advice. Stay healthy and see you in our next video.